In the Homestead Act, each person who filed a claim for land got 160 acres of land to farm. The head of house could pay $10 for their claim. The head of house had to be 21 years or older and had to be a U.S. citizen or intending to become a U.S. citizen. They had to live on the land for five years, then they would own the land for themselves. The Homestead Act started January 1, 1863. The first homesteader was Daniel Freeman, who settled in Nebraska and claimed his land so he could build a home and become a successful farmer. Today our topic is of the economic opportunities for single women. This means that some women were the leaders of their households. They had to contract and build their own farmland and houses. Single women usually had kids to help out with, but some were lone riders. This topic of single women is important because not all men were the dominants, especially if there wasn't one. Women had to work just as hard as men when they owned a homestead. This topic is also important because this is the first time in America that women could own their own land. Some women were completely alone when they filed their claim for land, but some women had children to help out on the land. Adeline Hornbeck was an example of this. She was married to Simon A. Harker, who filed a claim for 160 acres of land in 1863, where the couple and their three children lived. In 1864, Simon died and Adeline was forced to take care of her family alone. She earned money from her crops and livestock. Adeline was allowed early purchase of her land in July of 1866. She bought 80 acres for $100. About 20 months after she officially owned her property, she married Elliot Hornbeck and had a son in 1870. But in 1875, Elliot disappeared and she was once again left on her own with her four children. Adeline left Denver Homestead in 1875. There was no knowledge of where she was for three years. In 1878, she built a ranch for her family in Colorado's Florescent Valley. Another group of women that owned a homestead on their own was the Christman sisters. The first sister to file a homestead claim was Lizzie in 1887. The following year, her sister, Letty, filed her claim. Their homesteads were right next to each other, so they would take turns staying at each other's homestead so they wouldn't have to live alone. The younger sister had to wait until they were 21 to claim their land. But when they were old enough, all the land was gone. But the sisters were all well known. Lizzie and Letty had to wait five years to get married if they wanted to claim or have the land in their names. The three of the four sisters married after the five years were up. Lizzie and Letty stayed in Broken Bow with their husbands. The Homestead Act lasted from 1863 to 1986. The very first homestead was claimed in Nebraska, and the last one was claimed in Alaska. The Homestead Act was for anyone of age 21 that could have their own land. 10% of the U.S. land was given up for homesteading. In a total of 270 million acres of land that was put up for the Homestead Act. That's more than the size of California and Texas combined. The effects of the Homestead Acts can still be seen today.